this is what it took to get this amp working again, hopefully, at this point. Well, as we can see, we've got a selection of uh, primarily IC capacitors in this system, this amp board, and uh, Illinois capacitors, or IC as they're known, is probably one of the worst capacitor brands that I know that exist. They're pretty notorious for failing. So I thought I had this thing dialed in, um, turned it on, started hearing the uh, signature buzz that uh, follows the master volume and tried uh, changing out tubes again. Um, this time it didn't really fix it, but changed the tubes last time to uh, fix uh, crackling and popping, not the uh, volume hum. That wasn't present, but apparently after changing the tubes out and biasing them for good tubes, the capacitors went. So all new capacitors, other than some that I apparently didn't order, like these little guys right here. I think they are um, uh, 35 watt, um, 100 ma something like that. Then we've got one here and another one that I've already pulled right here that I've actually ordered. Then these two on the end after I replace these four, these four here, these two here and those two there, every single capacitor on this board will have been replaced with a high quality Nichicon um, 105 degrees Celsius capacitor instead of the uh, crappy what are they? 85 degrees Celsius. These things have a rated lifespan of a maximum of a thousand hours, whereas the uh, 105 degree um, Celsius capacitors have a lifespan exceeding 3,000 hours. So after getting this back up and going, it shouldn't have to have this done for a while. But I do have another one of these. Right now she's behaving. Um, retubed that one as well, and that resolved all of the issues with that one, um, other than some other items I changed. But yeah, this is uh, this is where we're at. Just waiting on the uh, capacitors I ordered tonight, so they should be here sometime next week. And then this was a, a little 220-ohm one watt resistor which actually lived smack dab in the middle of this area here and PV put in a small valley of a uh, glue substance. Uh, I'd like to say it was kind of like hot glue but it didn't tear away like hot glue so some kind of a glue substance to hold these in which made these very difficult to actually remove. Um, these guys had glue underneath them. This one had glue and the smaller ones they didn't bother doing. But yeah, this was painful and took a few hours to get done, mainly tearing these guys and these guys, this guy out. So yeah, that's where we're at. Hopefully when we're done, we won't have to touch another one for a while. I'll probably preemptively just order every single capacitor again because I have a second one and uh, digging into that one I opened it up too and it's got these icy craptastic capacitors in it so I'll be doing this again eventually.